Hello everyone, this is Andrew the Moo, and here we are with Chapter 16 of Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie's Revenge, and we are here today with the Grizzly Gauntlet, and this is another one of those little fun levels that exists within this game, and I'll explain why in just a moment. Because first we have kind of a cutscene. Oh, no, actually we don't have a cutscene. Uh, Jack's more or less explaining what this place is. He's not actually talking right now. But yeah, you, you see there's not a whole lot of places you can go at this moment. Um, you know, there are booby traps, things of that nature. Apparently we're in Oogie's hideout right now, and Jack said you don't want to fall into the lava. Let me go ahead and tell you right now, you don't want to fall into the lava for a number of different reasons. It would be very bad. You have to restart from the beginning. So yeah. I'm going to walk over this way, jump down on here, and swing up to this. And now cutscene. Be torn to pieces, Jack. Do you really think you'll make it out of here alive? It's so entertaining watching you run from my little traps down there. Oh, and I've got even scarier traps in store for you later. <sighs> so you notice the fact that I haven't gone, I, I, you know, while Ugu was talking, I've, you know, kind of gone forward but then stopped. Reason being is when you get right here, this is when you want to swing, because if you don't, you're going to fall into the lava. So, yeah, you, you, you want to be careful right there. Um, so, yeah, we are in here. We are more than halfway done with this game, and uh, we are in Oogie's hideout right now. And in the last episode, we, you know, it looked like we were going to be knocked out into some area uh, that was kind of mystical and spooky, but... We'll find out in just a moment that this area isn't really, uh... Ah! See you guys in a moment. So like I said, if you fall off, you restart. I didn't want you guys to have to sit there and listen to me talk from the beginning. But anyway, as I said, you know, it kind of seemed like we were in some sort of mystical, spooky area. You know, um, because of the way everything was set up. And yeah, it was probably like a m mystical and spooky trap. Crap on a stick. I thought it was over the line. Um, but anyway... Go ahead and go. Yeah, go ahead and shut that for me. There we go. And we are now over here in health. Health, 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 health. Um, now from here, I'm trying to remember where to go, 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 go. And I have forgotten really quick where I need to go. Now I'm thinking. I think I may have gone in the wrong direction, which, you know, not completely and utterly the worst thing in the world. Uh, yeah, actually, I did go too far. I'll tell you where I needed to go. I needed to go right here. I wasn't paying attention because I was talking, but you swing over here. It was good for me to grab the health anyway because I needed it. Uh, and step on this, and, of course, you've got the gargoyle that you can't reach, you know, aiming at you, and then what you want to do from here while paying attention to the gargoyle to make sure you don't get nailed by it or the cards, quickly run over and swing before the swords can get you. And then once you run over here, be wary of the fire traps because they will try to take you out all at once. And then walk through this little doorway. And we are about halfway done with this level now. Isn't that great? And you're like, Andrew, we haven't seen any enemies right now. Just wait. We're going to see one in just a moment. Because as we walk into this room, we're in the Cage King's room. There's the St. Patty's Day door. And let's take a look inside of it real quick. Um, it's locked. And, of course, there's a bag there. And that's where the uh, you have locked the St. Patrick's Day leader inside. And so all of the leaders are locked up inside of these cages. But, you know, there's one in particular that we're looking for at this moment, and that's the Santa Claus door, the Christmas door. No one's inside. Why didn't Boogie throw Sandy in here? Well, so we can have a mini-boss fight. That's why, ladies and gentlemen. So we can fight against an enemy we've seen already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save you the trouble of watching me fight this uh, again. And we are going to do a jump cut, and I will see you at the end of this battle. All right, so we're getting near the very end point of this battle. I want to mention something real quick. A neat little trick that I found, and I think it works quite well against this boss, and I wish I would have discovered it sooner. But um, let him come to the very top, you know, go down to the very top, kind of like this. And... Uh, let him, you know, let him, he'll, he'll appear at the opposite end from you. And so use that as um, a way to gauge where he's at. Because if you're at the bottom of the screen and he's at the top of the screen, it's a whole lot easier to see where you're going. 
And let me see, do I have any health right now? Uh, no, I don't. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop into this cage. And yes, this cell looks very familiar. It looks kind of like the one that Sally and uh, Santa were thrown into uh, in the Nightmare Before Christmas movie, but also we've seen it somewhere else in this game. In fact, as we go up the very cell uh, right here, we are taken to da -da -da -da, Town Square. And so what you can do is you can uh, go right here, drink some water. I should pour some water in my crystal bottle, which he does. And so now you can head on down. I've been waiting or been trying to remember to do this for some time now. So yeah, if you need to get health, now's a good time to do it. So what we're going to want to do now is, you know, we see the room that's around us and we're trying to figure out what we're going to do. You know, how do we proceed? Well, what we want to do is we want to run over here to the Christmas... Oh, that's not the Christmas door. To the Christmas door, press... Come on. Come on, don't attack. Don't attack, Hyde. Uh, yes, you can enter the cell now if you want to go in. Of course. And again, you want to be careful in this area for a specific reason. More lava. You know what that means? Yeah, we could fall to our dooms. You can't go any further. There's a candle there and... You jerk. Stop laughing. That's not nice. That's not nice. All right, so I don't know how I did not fall just then. I was floating in midair for a brief moment. Now is the time for patience, though, as you go from moving platform to moving platform. All right. So how's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's doing well at the moment. While you're here, go ahead and swat, switch, switch over to uh, Candle Jack or Skeleton Jack or whatever Jack and light that candle and go ahead and switch back to uh to jack there and grab hold of this hook now there are two moving platforms you can take you take the one to the left it takes you to a hidden area which we're not going to and you take the one to the right and that's progression you would think going to the left would be progression because of the fact the camera focuses more on the left but nope you and head to the right and then you and head to this big rock right here careful you can you know there's a slide when you stop and so you don't want to fall into the lava because you've got to go back through that process all over again. It's not really that bad. It's just time-consuming and annoying. And then you want to take this right here and um, be very, very careful because you can end up taking some unneeded damage right here if you're not paying attention to what you're doing. So just run past these as you have the time, and then you want to swing over here. And now for the fun part where you've got to be absolutely fast on the draw because if you are not, you are going to get hit and you are going to fall. And you don't want to do that, obviously. I don't want you to do that either. I don't want to do that. Because of the fact that means I have to restart this area all over again. And quickly swing over and then run back. Let them do their thing. You know, do the thing, do the thing, do the thing, and then grab this, swing over, and did I just... Oh, I barely made that. I barely, barely made that. All right, and so then you want to take and... Uh, I'm trying to remember what we need to do from here. Uh, we made it past them, and so there is, again, there's the left, the right. Let's take the right one, and uh, we'll see where that leads us to... Oh, absolutely, a spiral. And this spiral leads us to more health. And then from there we run this way. We go straight forward and into the mouth of madness. And once we've reached the mouth of madness, where does it take us? To the end of the level. That's where it takes us. So yeah, uh, I, time, we gotta be, that's not bad. We're not gonna get any exclamation point count though, all I got combo. Uh, again, I, I, I'm not gonna try to go for the all A run anymore because of, uh, 11 and 12, how they did me. So we got a B, that's respectable. And uh, really and truly, unless I went into one of the hidden areas, I couldn't have got that rank. But I mean, the only way that you can get an A on this in time is if you don't mess up even once. But hey, what we're going to do from here is we uh, have exited Chapter 16. We're going to start Chapter 17 in the next run, and we would have got a spider statue had we made it.